Eric Musgrave. I'm a fifth year AGP in mechanical engineering. It's Tom in the SpaceX shirt. He's a fifth year AGP as well in mechanical engineering. And George Davis here is a fifth year AGP in electrical engineering. And we're going to work on camera and antenna orientation uh, for the Polaris rover. Okay, so a basic uh, overview of the project would be Polaris needs a uh, navigation system, which is to say cameras mounted on top of mast, and it needs communications, which is to say an antenna mounted on top of mast that talks to Earth. Uh, both of these systems need a pan and a tilt mechanism so that we can point the camera where we want to see and point the antenna back at Earth so we can talk to it. So when you communicate the visuals from that camera back to Earth with the antenna, we need uh, the camera for obstacle avoidance. We need it for rover localization, so the visual odometry from the presentation you just saw. Uh, and also we need the uh, antenna for communication, command and control, those kind of protocols back to the base station on Earth. Uh, <clears throat> the motivation, uh, pan tilt mechanism, as was mentioned before, uh, is needed. Um, and uh, the uh, communication is necessary for uh, uh, so for goals, um, we're trying to fabricate a prototype so that testing can begin on the Polaris rover by mid-semester and uh, begin design of a space-worthy sensor antenna by mid-semester. And by the end of the semester, uh, a uh, complete design, a uh, complete space-worthy design, uh, including mechanical drawings and preliminary manufacturing of the bones. And we had a video here um, that was going to show the um, operation of the cameras that we need for uh, initial prototyping, but it's not playing right now. So that's just kind of a basic view of what it would look like. So, any questions? Do you plan on um, having the system capable of continuous rotation like the slip rings, or just? Absolutely not. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we plan on having at least 360 degrees so we can do a full panoramic shot. Um, and you can accomplish that with some fancy wiring um, to accomplish that goal there. Um, but slip rings don't have enough feasibility in space, and you have cold water problems like we talked about in the initial project. What resolution uh, cameras are you putting on the unit? Uh, the cameras are ones that Astrobotic already has. I think they're, um, by definition, about 120 frames per second. Oh, I'm not sure exactly. Is there a target positional accuracy, like to some fraction degree? Um, there hasn't been one good or told to us yet. Um, it's something that we're going to look into. For the final prototype, we plan on having kind of a ring gear with a drive internal so we can have the antenna coming up through. Um, so we'd expect to have something with the harmonic drive of less than a degree at least. Uh, a lot of laters and rovers don't have uh, <coughs> interdependent pointing of uh, an antenna and cameras, but separate those functions. This needs a compelling motivation of why you're doing it as you're doing it uh, to concatenate these multiple motions and functions into one and in such a way that we get it because you put it out there. Um, is that a question? Or hey, no, the way I stated it was a comment, so you got me. And I don't think no, okay, okay, so make a question. I think our... Um, I think our presentation may have been unclear, but for the initial prototype, we don't plan on having the antenna integrated, but in the final design, we plan on having them in independent of each other, not dependent on the motion of each other. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, what is it, AGP? It could be that somewhere in an audience this size, there's a someone somewhere that just doesn't know AGP. Uh, accelerated graduate program. Uh, of course, one of the things you get the space world is the acronyms of the big deal. <laughs> <laughs>